Should be an interesting one. All right, next up, Charlotte, Florida International. We've got Charlotte, three-and-a-half-point road favorites uh, in this game total, 58-and-a-half uh, pretty much across the board uh, in this one. Uh, Charlotte, uh, it got close, and I was, you know, I was at the edge of my seat there with about two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Charlotte, Illinois, hoping Illinois would just get one more first down and then take a knee, run out the clock. They did that, and the 10-point win for Illinois against Charlotte means I get the money with Charlotte in that game, getting a 10 and a half, 11 as underdogs in that game. The more I watch Chris Reynolds at quarterback, the more I like what I see. I mean, he's a good quarterback. He's pretty accurate with the football. Um, and I've been impressed with what I've seen out of him uh, so far this year. Uh, and again, against uh, Illinois, they hung tough uh, in that game. And in fact, we're leading uh, for uh, multiple stretches in that game, uh, but ended up falling short 24, 14 before that in a shootout against middle Tennessee, uh, they won 42-39, and they had the big home win against Duke uh, earlier in the year. So uh, definitely good things from this uh, Charlotte group. I don't know what to make of Florida International last week, but uh, their defense clearly has not been good. Uh, they give up 58 points in the Shula Bowl last week to the Florida Atlantic Owls, 58-21. to How about 704 yards uh, of offense for Florida Atlantic? in that game against Florida International. I mean, just absolutely despicable uh, performance on the defensive side of the football from the Golden Panthers. Uh, Nikosi Perry, that might have been the best game, and he hasn't had many good games at quarterback going back to when he was at Miami. Uh, but he had a good one against this FIU defense on Saturday. 18 of 21, barely had th three incomplete passes and 21 attempts for him. 329 yards through the air, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, Johnny Ford ran the ball for 102 yards and a touchdown against that FIU defense. They couldn't stop the, the pass. They couldn't stop the run. Uh, that concerns me here. And Charlotte's definitely got a very, very good balanced attack. You know, they've ran the football effectively, 176 yards per game on the ground, 4.7 per carry. The FIU defense has given up 4.6 per carry, 188 per game on the ground. The secondary has given up 314 through the air uh, as well. This FIU defense and Chris Reynolds, as I said, I like him. I think he's a pretty accurate quarterback, especially when he gets time. And look, you're look at seeing a FIU defense as well, Connor, that in terms of sacks, they're not getting all that many. 1.4 per game, that's not great uh, by any stretch of the imagination. So the pass rush has definitely been lacking. Uh, and the uh, FIU offense has been giving up some sacks as well. So I think trench play, Charlotte could have the better of it here uh, in this game. Yet the money's come in on FIU, which is kind of interesting. It ain't me. It ain't my money. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. In fact, if this drops to three, I might take Charlotte if I can get a flat field goal number with them here. Because uh, to me, when I look at this uh, game here against uh, Florida International here for uh, Charlotte, uh, they are definitely going to be – I still think Charlotte's the better of these two squads. You could argue Charlotte had that very, very bad road loss to Georgia State that stands out, that maybe they're away from home. You can't always trust them, but I think it's even more difficult for me to trust FIU. So uh, for me, it would be Charlotte minus the three and a half. Yeah, it's Florida International. We've got a uh, yeah, mistake Florida, on the marquee there. It's Florida International they're playing against uh, Charlotte. Uh, in this one. And uh, yeah, if it was Florida Atlantic against Charlotte and this was the number. Yeah. I wouldn't give me the points. Charlotte. I'd be looking at <laughs> Florida Give me Atlantic, Florida Atlantic. But, uh, yeah. FIU, no. I mean, uh, and I'm, I'm a little bit surprised, a little bit perplexed the money's come in on FIU after how dreadful they looked last week, especially their defense. And this is a more than capable Charlotte offense. So I lean Charlotte right now. More, uh, I don't like the over for the game. I like more the Charlotte team total over, uh, which is 30 and a half. Because I don't know if FIU is going to do a ton of scoring. Bortenschlager has been inconsistent. Uh, Bortenschlager has been erratic. Uh, so to me, I would look toward uh, Charlotte team total over potentially as well, 30 and a half. Connor, what do you think of this one? Yeah, you said it all there. If that was Florida Atlantic, uh, I'd want the points with them. Florida National, they got whipped by him, 58-21. Um, you're right, the total real quick looking at it. I don't know if it can get there. You know, I think Charlotte scores with, you know, 35 at least. I thought Florida International might play a little bit better, you know, watching that game because I thought they played decent against Central Michigan in losing 31-27 and even against Texas Tech. You know, and then Texas Tech pulled away 54-21. These are two teams I don't bet on a lot. Uh, Charlotte, I have maybe once this year. I haven't with FIU. I, I can't take Florida International. I need more points. You know, I'd want... 
I, even at three and a half, I don't know if that's enough. So this game is a pass. And you talked about it. Maybe if this drops, to, if, it, if it does drop, I don't think it does. If this got under three, maybe look at Charlotte. But it's a game I'm going to stay away from.